Hey, and good morning. I'm really excited about today's topic because we're talking about energy. I'm Angela Brown, and I'm here with Omoon. And the series we're reading from is Volume 1 on the Insights and Wisdom of Omoon. This is available now online. This is Volume 1 of Volume 2. There are two in the series, and we are unpacking the different concepts in this book to help you be a better leader, a better manager, and a better parent. And so please help me welcome Omoon. How are you today? It's good to be here. It's a beautiful spring day. Things are looking really good. Let's say that we're just really brand new to energy. If we were just getting started, how would we start to become aware of the energy in our lives so that we then have choices on how we want to use that? A lot of it just depends on your interest. If we look at energy, it's going to come through either earth, air, fire, or water, and usually a combination of all. For example, in a garden, we have sunshine, which is the fire. We have the earth that has all of the elements for things to grow. We have the water that nourishes the plants. And we have the air that circulates through and makes everything healthy. If you combine all of those things, you have an energy that is accessible to us in a lot of different ways. There was a a Japanese scientist called Masaru Emoto, and he photographed water crystals under an electron microscope and showed that water can be programmed. And it's interesting because we are mostly water. Our brains are like 90% water, and our muscles are like 70% water, and our bones are like 60 or 50% water. So if you can program water, you can actually program the water that's in your body to do certain things, like if you want vibrant health. I checked my water that came out of my tap that we have at the house, and the pH balance of water is really important. Most of the things that come into our life are acidic and disease originates from an acidic environment, usually. Or if things are way too alkaline, it will cause disease. For the the folks that are new to the pH scale, it ranges on a, on a series from 0 to 14, with 7 being neutral in the middle. And in a perfect world, your water would be 7, which is neutral. The acid is 0, and the alkalines are 4. The pH scale is a logarithmic scale, which means every number is 10 times stronger than the number before it or the number after it. So that's how that works, which makes the acidic on on the zero scale really strong and the alkaline on the other side of the scale, on the 14 side, really strong. Just wanted to send that out as a reminder. Now, where was your tap water when you brought that out of your home? It came out at a six. That's on the acidic scale. It's interesting that grains are acidic and dairy products. So we're, we're consuming a lot of acidic things. And then if our water is acidic, we tend to kind of move into that acidic part of the scale where disease and uh, a lot of chronic conditions can begin. If your diet is primarily acidic, grains, dairy, or meat, you need to move over to the green leafy vegetables and organic fruits. Then you complement that with carbohydrates and protein and fat. And so that gives you a balanced diet. Would you say that eating the acidic things would have maybe a a negative effect on our physiology, which then would make us channel negative energy in our day-to-day communications with other people? It's going to have an impact. There's positive energy and there's negative energy. Positive energy tends to have a higher vibration. If you look at things like love and gratitude and some of these really positive emotions it's because positive energy is flowing if energy flows into you and it doesn't flow out of you that stagnate condition is the beginning of chronic conditions health conditions and depression so we want to keep our energy positive We need to be aware of the direction that our energy is flowing. Sometimes we're around people who extract energy from us, and they have a negative energy. People who have a negative energy, to a large degree, want to have a positive energy. If they're around people that have positive energy, that's how they get their energy. That's so good, and our time is up. What one or two things would you ask our listeners to do this week as an exercise to enhance their energy as they go about their day-to-day chores? To be aware of your energy. Be aware of your self-talk. Is it negative? Is it positive? How do you feel? 
do you feel like you need more energy to do things? Just become aware of the conditions of your life. Be aware of the environment that you're in, the people that you're around. And when you're aware that something needs to be changed, change it. That's the thought for this week. You're in charge of changing the things that need to be changed.